Well, it's day two of Nightmare Nights. I never actually ended the vlog last night, so I will just put in some titles at the end saying goodnight. Uh, this morning at 10 a.m. is the Analysis Anarchy panel, and hopefully getting up at this time I can get there. Probably have breakfast after the panel. Um, and uh, if you can't tell, I'm dressed as my OC today in the laziest cosplay ever. Green shirt, blue tank top thing, muscle shirt or whatever, and then the rest of my clothes is what I normally wear. Um, and I don't have any ears or the broken horn. Laziest cosplay ever. But serves its purpose, I guess. Traitor! I also wanted to do a, a text typer thing where I had like a bunch of poster boards where I'd hold them up that said like text typer quotes, but I never got around to making those. So, yeah. Laziest cosplay ever. Probably say that a whole bunch of times today. So there's the panel inside the room with the wide open doors, but we can't go in until 10 and it's uh, 9.40 ish. And I'm with 9.38. Yeah. Yeah. I'm recording with Close somebody enough. else. I could be asleep right now. Vlogception. Yes. <laughs> Don't cross the street. Ah. <laughs> It'll Thank make you. the interwebs explode. Okay. Hell um, no, it'll make the rift collapse on itself again like it did once before. That's not good. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Derpy and I are waiting out here to go to yeah. the panel, <laughs> which is the Analysis yeah. Anarchy panel. So, yeah. Oh, Team Fortress and 2. See if I can yes, the Team Fortress 2 and um, MLP Analysis Crossover oh. series. And got to think of it, we've been running these videos for like a year and a half now since we did the first Meet the Video. And, yeah. yeah, it was back in June of 2014 when we were first discussing this project idea. I had no idea it would get anywhere near as big as it has. Now, When's Blue oh getting a pyro? <laughs> <laughs> when you're gonna play? When you're gonna replace the red team spy? Uh, yeah, we only have eight team members on each team right now, which actually keeps things relatively even. And we're gonna keep it there for now. <laughs> Till you get two more. <laughs> Because every month I'm getting at least a dozen new volunteers saying, Can I be on the blue team? Can I be on the red team, please, please, please? <laughs> hey, half of those are me in different accounts. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Waiting really? since, since really episode Robin? one. Still never got an email. Nigel Boo, Nigel Boo. Poor sad Robin. Sad breakfast is sad. But anyway, uh, the idea for Team Fortress 2 Analysis Anarchy didn't start as an idea for a crossover parody. It had nothing to do with a crossover parody at all, because I think it was back in May of last year, 2014, where I was trying to consider, you know, the Emote with Dr. Wolf series is doing so well, I wonder, is it possible that we could try to do some couples therapy, trying to get multiple characters in there at once? <laughs> And so I remember uh, chatting with Josh because we had just done our Mo with Dr. Wolf session and the follow-up video about quality control in the fandom. And he was asking me, so what is, what is your plan to do next? And I said, well, I'm trying to think, could we do couples therapy? And well, what was your response to that? I got, I, I'm trying to remember. But what do you mean? Well, what, what was it we were trying to consider first? Because you said you were interested in the idea and we were trying to think, uh, who was it that we wanted to pair you with? Because you're pairing your OC with somebody else. You remember <laughs> that conversation? Nah, it's a, I was just thinking about who, it's like, who could I conceivably pair my OC with? And I was just thinking, like, hmm. It's a, no, it's a, no, it's like KP's already shipped with a... <laughs> just Anthony Cord. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Discord. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's a, Eliora has a boy, Eliora has a boyfriend and that would be awkward. Uh, what about Necros? And then I realized, you know, you can't just suddenly put these two characters into a moment with Dr. Wolf and say they're in a relationship without any kind of setup beforehand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you two started talking similar interests. And it came to the game. Games. Yes. And, uh, yeah, you were both 
uh, fanatics of TF2. Because later that year, Ink Rose would show up to BronyCon dressed as a scout. <laughs> and that was a lot of fun to see. And so, initially we weren't considering adding any links. I remember that much. But you had suggested if we were going to try to put other people in specific classes, who would you pick? And one of our very first ideas, I remember, you know, Silver Quill is constantly taking punishment in all his videos. <laughs> yes. It's a, one common thing among all of them is heavy abuse. Yeah. <laughs> so Dr. Wolf says, hey, do you want to be heavy? Well, no, I'd like to lose a few pounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's the thing, I've never played Team Fortress 2. I'm sorry, but I haven't. So it's free! Also, uh, it is free! But my time is not. <laughs> Hold on. Who needs videos and that whole money thing? It's not even the money, I want to do videos. I know. No. But, uh, Who needs those hope? But yeah, Dr. Wolf uh, messaged me and just brought up, would you like to be in this Team Fortress 2 thing? But we also asked if we need animators for it. It was over the course of like, one evening, maybe two evenings, that we were trying to pick all the different people who would fit into all the different classes. We wanted to have Digibrony and Tommy Oliver, but... That may have been beneficial at the end. R.I.P. <laughs> we weren't sure entirely where to put a lot of people, but for specific classes, I can remember that when we think, when we were thinking, well, who do we get to play the pyro? Oh, wait a second. In the crossover video that Eliora did with Silver Quill, she was uh, holding a flame uh, for Dr. Wolf. Oh, oh, lost um, it just, oh, it's it's just, just, it's just falling asleep. That's it timed out. Screensaver. You can just Don't worry about it. There we go. It's okay. Hey. Hey. We'll, get, we'll get to that later. Don't worry. I, I have a little bit of a surprise to show everybody at the end. It's just a short little TF2 video that Lightning Bliss put together specifically for this panel. Unless he works too much. Anyways, we, we wanted Eliora to be in the pyro position simply because you two had come up with that joke. <laughs> it, is it weird that all the inspirational acts of violence are happening on my videos? <laughs> <laughs> well, in my video I died, so... Well, I was right there with you, you know, after Life Buddies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she gave an English accent. Yeah. I did dash three bunk. Um, all ghosts are British. <laughs> all right, okay. bunk. So we figured voice of reason for the sniper. Actually, we asked voice of reason what class he'd like to pay. He said sniper immediately. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, fill up all the other classes. And we were encouraging everyone to do, to do their own meet the videos. And, uh, and this was just for the red team. This was just for the red team because at that point, before we had released the TF2 analysis anarchy, we hadn't considered blue team yet. I'm the only blue team member here. Yes. Oh. It's okay. We love you, blue team. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can change that. Blue team can change that. Nobody loves blue team. I wanted two credit to come down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so after buddy, everybody okay, made their own the videos, we did find an animator, and it was in November of last year that we finally released the initial TF2 analysis anarchy, and the main focus was all about these two getting shipped. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship. Friendship never changes. Well, this is the comic that Robin0928 and I reviewed, and if you notice, on one of them, Robin devalued this comic by signing it, and I devalued this comic by signing it. Yep. Okay. Okay? Yep. You done? You're going? Yes. Okay. I'm a little bit over. Sorry. Yeah. I'm nervous. I did. Hey! Pretty good. Sure. It's just buttons. 
So it's not it's not a real accordion. Real accordion has like a piano keys. Yeah. It's so different. Yeah, this is actually uh, a toy. What they it's call a toy it. uh, accordion for kids to play. Yeah. Yeah. It's very funny. They have a different thing. Yeah. One of the last things I'll be getting at this convention. I spent way too much money in the vendor hall. I probably should not go back in there at risk of going broke. You know, I completely forgot to film on the panel again. So, so aside from your footage of it, that's gonna be the only footage that exists of it. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're, we're playing Twilight Sparkle Secret Ship Pick folder. And I'm about to get a goal right here. Watch this. Which is described so, as. Flux crossed with Cards Against Humanity. Okay, so I'm apparently. gonna use Ship Road War. Well, before I forget, um, I'm Comic Sans. That's Coleman Stan and Prince Thunderflare. See you tomorrow for the third uh, day of Nightmare Nights.